6C is REZ 2022-08, Hollowbrook 3263 Old Clyville Road. This involves 15.6 acres. It's currently RA and the request is for PD and it has well and septic. Mr. Dillard. Thank you, sir. Again, this is a 15.6 acre request of the current approximately 60 acres you see here outlined um, for a PD admit facility in a rural zoning. It is currently RA and you'll note on the future character map that it is within the urban service area and also in the suburban character area. However, county utilities are only included force made at this location and therefore uh, that is still served by well and septic. Um, TRC had the traditional uh, notes for any event facilities that have been approved in the past and I'll read them now for the record. The uses of the property may only be used for uses permitted in RA zoning district and an event facility where the operation of an event facility is limited to meetings, retreats, celebrations, and weddings for groups no larger than the fire code allows or the proposed buildings and area, outdoor performances by bands or ensembles that are accessory to a meeting, retreat, celebration, or wedding shall be allowed. The hours of operation of the event facility shall be limited to 8 a.m. to 10 p.m., including adherence to the Lowndes County Noise Ordinance. Condition two, unless otherwise noted on the approved site plan, the use of the property shall be subject to all standards applicable to properties in RA zoning. In condition three, exterior lighting shall be shielded to avoid direct illumination of adjacent properties. Again, staff found that these were staff imposed conditions. The Planning Commission recommends approval with those conditions 10 0. Any questions for Mr. Dillard? Mr. Dillard, I, I do, and it, it's on one of those conditions. Um, from the standpoint of our noise ordinance, it goes to 10 p.m. But what that condition, if I understand it correctly, it says operation. So they have to shut down and leave the premises by 10 p.m. Is that a little bit harsh, in my opinion, from the standpoint of that, uh, that we need to be sure that we don't push somebody into a point where they have to close their operation at 10 o'clock rather than adhere to the noise ordinance at 10, as we currently have it at 10 p.m. Yeah, I misread that too. I thought that was the noise ordinance. They don't reference that. They no, just it says operation. Yeah. So I, I just we need to be real careful on that one about how we how that's whether you include that condition or not. I mean, the noise ordinance, the noise ordinance is that it's a separate document from the standpoint that anybody, it doesn't matter what your hours of operations are, you have to adhere to the noise ordinance. Just something to think about between now and tomorrow in this meeting. Anything else? Okay. All right, we'll move on to.